Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Le Brick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa patronized the mobilization training drill National Shield 2020, which the Bahrain Defense Force conducted using live ammunition. Upon arrival, His Majesty was received by the BDF Commander in Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, the Commander of the National Guard General, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, National Security Advisor and Commander of the Royal Guard Major General, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the BDF's Chief of Staff Lieutenant General Diab bin Sagr Naimi. His Majesty was accompanied by the Minister of the Royal Court, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, and Commander of the Royal Guard Special Force, His Highness Lieutenant Colonel Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The exercise commenced with a recitation of the Holy Quran, after which His Majesty was presented with the details of the drill and its objectives. سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة الملك حمد بن عيسى آل خليفة عاهل البلاد المفدى القائد الأعلى حفظه الله ورعاه سيدي صاحب المعالي المشير الركن الشيخ خليفة بن أحمد آل خليفة القائد العام لقوة دفاع البحرين حفظه الله أصحاب السمو أصحاب المعالي والسعادة ضيوفنا الكرام السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته سيدي صاحب الجلالة نتشرف اليوم جميعا برعاية جلالتكم حفظكم الله لختام التمرين التعبوي درع الوطن 2020 والذي بدأ تنفيذه اعتبارا من الثامن من مارس 2020 وعلى مرحلتين المرحلة الأولى تمرين قيادات مشترك أما المرحلة الثانية والتي سنشهدها اليوم وهي عملية تشترك فيها مختلف أسلحة ووحدات قوة دفاع البحرين سيدي صاحب الجلالة خير ما نبدأ به آيات من الذكر الحكيم يتلوها على مسامعكم الرائد مرشديني ناصر راشد القدير أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم ولا يحسبن الذين كفروا سبقوا إنهم لا يعجزون وأعدوا لهم ما استطعتم من قوة ومن رباط الخيل ترهبون به ترهبون به عدو الله وعدوكم وآخرين وآخرين من دونهم لا تعلمونهم الله يعلمهم وما تنفقوا من شيء في سبيل الله يوفى إليكم يوفى إليكم وأنتم لا تظلمون وإن جنحوا للسلم فاجنح لها وتوكل على الله إن إنه هو السميع العليم وإن يريدوا أن يخدعوك فإن حسبك الله هو الذي أيدك بنصره وبالمؤمنين وألف بين قلوبهم 
لو أنفقت ما في الأرض جميعا ما ألفت بين قلوبهم ولكن الله ولكن الله ألف بينهم إنه عزيز حكيم يا أيها النبي حسبك الله حسبك الله ومن اتبعك من المؤمنين صدق الله العظيم His Majesty then signaled the start of the exercise which was carried out according to the plan with skillful and high precision performance. His Majesty expressed pride in the training drill which he said reflects the BDF's professionalism, high morale and skills. He affirmed the importance of carrying on with such exercises and thanked the BDF's efforts to combat the coronavirus COVID-19 as part of the national efforts to protect the health of the citizens and residents. His Majesty added that the BDF will remain Bahrain's protective shield that also contributes to the safety of the region and its people and wished everyone ongoing success. Sayyidi Sahib al -Jalala. تقوم الآن طائرات البلاك هوك من على يمين المنصة بالرماية ومشاقلة قوات العدو سيدي صاحب الجلالة تقوم الآن طائرات الكوبرا من على يمين المنصة بالرماية ومشاقلة الأهداف المعادية مشاغلة هدف معادي بواسطة صاروخ موجه مضاد للدروع سيدي صاحب الجلالة تبدأ الآن من على يسار المنصة عملية الهجوم المعاكس والذي تقوم به سرايا المشاه الآلية والدبابات سرايا الدبابات للتعامل مع الأهداف المعادية
تم الإعاز لسرية الصاعقة بالقيام بعملية تطويق المنطقة تقوم في هذه اللحظات طائرات الكوبرا بتقديم الحماية والإسناد للبدء بعملية الاقتحام لقد استطاعت قواتنا المسلحة السيطرة على الموقف والقضاء على آخر تمركز لقوات العدو كما تمكنت قواتنا من تحرير جميع الرهائن سيدي صاحب الجلالة أن في العهد الزاهر الذي شهدته المملكة في ظل قيادتكم الحكيمة تم منح المرأة البحرينية الفرصة المتكافئة في التعليم والرعاية الصحية والعمل بمختلف المجالات والترشح للمجالس البلدية والنيابية وكان للمرأة نصيبها من المشاركة في قوة دفاع البحرين واليوم تقوم مجموعة من عناصر الأمن والحماية بوحدة الشرطة العسكرية الملكية بتنفيذ رماية على الأهداف باستخدام البندقية والمسدس يبدأ فريق القفز الحر بالمظلات من القفز من على ارتفاع سبعة ألاف قدم
After that, the drill commander greeted His Majesty the King and His Majesty thanked him for his efforts and the efforts of the participating officers. The drill was also attended by the Minister of Defense Affairs, Lieutenant General Abdullah bin Hassan Naimi and other senior officers. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa chaired the weekly cabinet meeting at Ghadibiya Palace. After the session, the Cabinet Secretary General Dr. Yasser bin Isa Al Nasr issued the following statement. The Cabinet hailed His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's royal initiative by issuing a decree pardoning inmates for humanitarian reasons, adding that the noble gesture reflects the principles enshrined by His Majesty's vision of coexistence, peace and forgiveness. It also followed up on the procedures taken by the concerned bodies to prevent and contain the coronavirus COVID-19 and ensure the safety and health of citizens and residents by applying the highest preventative and precautionary measures. In this regard, the Cabinet appointed the concerned authorities to limit gatherings with more than 150 people and called on citizens and residents to commit to preventative instructions to prevent the spread of the virus as well as the importance of committing to home quarantine and calling triple four for examination. The meeting hailed the large number of volunteers in the national campaign for combating the coronavirus which reflects the Bahrain society's sense of responsibility and community partnership. The cabinet noted Bahrain's achievement in the field of safeguarding and respecting human rights on the occasion of the Arab Human Rights Day. The meeting strongly condemned the explosion targeting Sudanese Prime Minister Abdullah Hamdok's motorcade, affirming its rejection of this cowardly terrorist attack and any attempts to disrupt the security and stability of Sudan. Given the emergent challenges the world faces due to the new epidemic of the coronavirus COVID-19 and in light of the kingdom's efforts to contain its spread and face its repercussions on the national economy and health, the cabinet granted the Minister of Finance and National Economy the authority to withdraw directly from the public fund not to exceed 5% of the total budget appropriations for the current fiscal year to meet emergency expenses that do not have budget appropriations and cannot be deferred to the budget for the coming years. The cabinet approved the ex-appropriation of several approved plans located in different regions of the country for the purpose of planning and replanning. The Cabinet reviewed the efforts to uh, compensate students for the suspension of studies in public and private schools by enhancing the role of the interactive electronic educational portal and e-learning systems, integrating technology in education and employing digital educational content and other educational services, including broadcasting lessons presented by tutors and specialists for eight hours a day on the second sports channel of Bahrain TV and on YouTube. The Council referred to the Coordination Committee a memorandum on training job seekers through apprenticeship in light of the keenness to train national manpower which contributes to their integration into the labour market. The Cabinet approved a draft decree ratifying the Joint Customs Cooperation Agreement between Customs Affairs in the Kingdom of Bahrain and the General Customs Authority in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia for mutual recognition of the authorised economic operation or operator programme approved by each of them. The Cabinet approved and referred to the Legislative Authority a draft law ratifying the status of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation Labor Center. The Cabinet approved a resolution regarding the determination and regulation of civil aviation fees and the fees of departure services via air travel. The Cabinet referred a memorandum raised by the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs to the Ministerial Committee for Financial and Economic Affairs and Physical Balance on the uh, Tripartite Memorandum of Understanding regarding Neighbourhoods Playgrounds. The Cabinet approved and referred to the Representatives Council a draft law to amend Item D of Article 23 of the law for the issuance of letters and electronic transactions issued by Decree Law No. 54 for the year 2018. The Cabinet referred to the Representatives Council a draft law amending Article 1 of Decree Law 27 for the year 2015 concerning commercial registrations or registers. The Cabinet was also informed on the measures taken to meet the needs of Al Ghful area for infrastructure services according to the directives of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. The Cabinet also viewed the results of the OPEC meetings recently held in Geneva and the meeting of the GCC's health ministers concerning the spread of the coronavirus. The Cabinet viewed the reports of the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs concerning the positive growth the Ministry succeeded in achieving by increasing the revenues and support provided by the private sector to finance sports activities, which amounted to about 1.9 million dinars. 
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a number of senior officials and members of the Representatives in Shura Council at Ghadibiya Palace. His Royal Highness began by underlining the early action Bahrain has taken under the leadership of His Majesty the King to contain the coronavirus COVID-19, noting that all precautionary measures are underpinned by the active engagement of citizens and residents. He affirmed that Bahrain's stringent preventative measures are yielding positive results while ensuring that the Kingdom's approach is flexible enough should circumstances change. His Royal Highness noted that this approach has led to the Kingdom's recognition as a model for containing the spread of the COVID-19. He also stated that the government is working collaboratively to, intru to introduce an economic package that will provide the private sector with the necessary liquidity to deal with the effects of COVID-19 and maintain sustainable growth. His Royal Highness affirmed that progress to curb the spread of COVID-19 was a result of the strong cooperation between the legislative and executive authorities. The attendees expressed appreciation to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince for supporting precautionary measures that safeguard the health and well-being of citizens and residents. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, National Security Advisor and Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Royal Charity Organization, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, commended the initiative of Sea Properties to launch a 1 million Bahraini dinar fund to support its commercial complex's tenants. His Highness affirmed that the initiative is in line with the leadership's directive to exert all efforts as part of the national campaign for combating the coronavirus COVID-19 and to take all measures in order to maintain the health and safety of the community including those that affect the economic aspect. His Highness commended the patriotic stance of Sea Properties, hailing its awareness and keenness to support all national efforts. The Minister of Information Affairs, Ali Ar-Ramehi, affirmed his support to the precautionary and preventive measures taken by the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia to protect citizens and residents against COVID-19. In a statement to Ukal Saudi newspaper, the minister stressed the importance of continuing the cooperation and coordination between the two kingdoms to contain the spread of the virus. Ar-Ramehi stressed not to believe or spread rumors and inaccurate information through social media. He praised the role and efforts of the Bahraini media and press in its various platforms. The Minister of Health, Faiqa bin Saeed al-Saleh, and the public awareness campaign to combat the coronavirus COVID-19 held a press conference earlier to discuss the latest developments related to COVID-19. The Chief of Public Security, Tariq al-Hassan, commended His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad al-Khalifa's leadership of the National Task Force for, to Combat COVID-19 and added that the World Health Organization praised the Kingdom's measures in dealing with the spread of the virus. He noted that Bahrain has been a leading example in taking the necessary measures in dealing with the spread of the virus. Al-Hassan said that by the direct order of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, concerned authorities will provide food supply for no less 
less than six months and stress that information and news must be taken from official sources. The chief of public security added that there will be a team concerned with following up on the conditions of those who have been in contact with those infected with the virus. He hailed the continuous and dedicated efforts of the Ministry of Health and its caters and the volunteers in the national campaign to combat the coronavirus. The Minister of Health affirmed the importance of medical readiness for the possibility of an increase in the number of cases and that priority will be for critical cases. She stressed that all citizens will be provided with comprehensive medical care and noted the importance of abiding by precautionary measures. The Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zayda Zayani, noted the ministry's efforts in cooperation with the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry to ensure the continuity of the national economy. He highlighted the ministry's cooperation with concerned authorities to ensure the supply of food for no less than six months. The, infection, or the infectious diseases consultant and microbiologist at the BDF hospital, a member of the National Task Force for Combating the COVID-19, Colonel Dr. Manaf al ghahtani noted that 77 cases have recovered from the coronavirus and were discharged. al ghahtani noted that uh, recovered cases self-isolate for two weeks and are followed up medically for another two weeks. He highlighted that there are no cases of the coronavirus in the Bahraini society and called on influencers to promote health practices. The consultant of infectious and internal diseases at Salmania Medical Complex, Dr. Jamila Al Salman, stated that there are two critical cases that require medical attention, while all other cases are stable, affirming that all cases are monitored around the clock. The Ministry of Health announced the death of a 65-year-old female Bahraini national who was suffering from underlying and chronic health problems and was registered as an active case of the coronavirus COVID-19. The deceased female had returned from Iran via an indirect flight last month and had not entered the general population. The individual, upon arrival to Bahrain, was placed in isolation and received ex extensive 24-hour treatment from a specialized medical team. The ministry highlighted that excluding one case, all other active COVID-19 cases cases remain stable and that all patients are receiving treatment from a specialized medical team following guidelines provided by the World Health Organization. The Ministry of Health expresses its heartfelt condolences to the individual's family at this difficult time. The Ministry of Health announced that 17 individuals have recovered from the coronavirus COVID-19 in the Kingdom of Bahrain, bringing the total number of confirmed recoveries to 77. The recovered individuals, seven male and eight female Bahrainis, one male Saudi and one male Lebanese national, have been discharged from the isolation center after responding positively to medical care provided by a specialized medical team, conforming with measures outlined by the World Health Organization. The Ministry highlighted that all individuals have undergone extensive medical testing to ensure their full recovery from the virus before being discharged and will continue to be monitored post discharge. The ministry calls upon all citizens and residents who are experiencing symptoms of COVID-19, including a fever, coughing and difficulty breathing, to isolate themselves, call 444 and follow the instructions given by the medical team and avoid close contact with others. The Civil Aviation Affairs has announced a reduction in the number of incoming flights to the Kingdom of Bahrain until further notice. Effective from Wednesday, the 18th of March 2020 at 3 a.m., the CAA highlighted that the decision has been taken to help contain the coronavirus and safeguard the health and safety of citizens and residents. It stressed that it is coordinating extensively with airplane companies and other stakeholders throughout the Kingdom to ensure that arriving passengers are thoroughly tested in line with guidelines set by the WHO. Meanwhile, the Nationality, Passport and Residence Affairs at the Ministry of Interior announced the suspension of visas on arrival across the Kingdom's entry points until further notice, effective from Wednesday, the 18th of March 2020 at 3 a.m. The NPRA noted that the visa on arrival service will still be available for diplomatic passport holders at the Kingdom's entry points, adding that electronic visa services and other types of visas will still be open to the public and visas issued by the NPRA before this notice will still be valid.